Good evening and welcome again. My name is Steph from Smart Depot and today we're going to be doing a little tip and tricks. And today, what are we talking about? Google contacts disappearing. Um, it may not have happened to you, but uh, it took me five years to have that experience in using Android and flashing ROMs and a whole lot of stuff and, you know, tinkering. So um, w when I first noticed that, I thought like maybe I knew my Google contacts were around a thousand plus. And um, then I realized it was like 900 and I was like, what happened? You know, I did overlook that until my friend lost all his contact. And I was like, uh, what happened? The first thought was like, hey, you've been hacked. But when I went through it, I was like, hey, my friend is not Donald Trump that could be hacked you know, for contact. And uh, I realized it wasn't hacked. And then finally it happened to me. So that was where I took it serious. So I digged into it. I realized that due to a whole lot of uh, things like if you're the type that have to you know um, log in your email or gmail account into several devices yes it could happen because uh, different devices could have problem trying to sync at the same time or network issues or google play services not properly installing and then falling back and a whole lot of stuff different different gaps and a whole lot of flashing and stuff like that update can really really cause that so but that's not the issue we're focusing on it does happen and then sometimes you really feel bad it's so frustrating when it happens so but in two minutes i'm just going to show you how you're going to fix it and it's sweet i mean sweet you just go to your browser and i'm already on google contacts just do contact with google contact.google.com and just hit enter to take you to contact please i'm already on the place so let me just go here the account i'm using doesn't have any contact but that's not a problem because I'll still show you what you have to do with, with this account. So open here and go to the menu and then you scroll down. You go to undo changes in the menu, undo changes, and you hit it. And the undo changes will come out with uh, another menu uh, popping up. So here you can choose, if you notice the change in your contacts, you can really take like yesterday, one hour, two hours ago, or you can do custom. You know, in custom, you can choose the hours, the minute, the days back that you want to revert to. So but for this tutorial, we're going to work with yesterday the good thing about this also is that when you try to do to undo changes and go back to a previous uh, uh, setting or uh, state of your google uh, contact uh, you can easily redo that if it didn't give you what you're looking for like hit confirm and we go in and there's no much contact here so it will take time see it's done shows you the time um, then you can now say redo it takes us back to undo whatever we've done so that's it so let me just show you a few tricks and trips you can do here because this is one of the easiest way you can bring in maybe uh, your contacts from ios uh, from outlook and and um, yahoo and whole lot of stuff like that maybe you have your contact somewhere else you can always bring it in you can import you see here you can import from yahoo from outlook and whole lot of even from apple and then you can just select the place or, or even from csv file or vcat file you can just import your contact and that's not all also uh it's good to do this i just have to do that you know from time to time so that you can have something to fall back on you can export your google contact yes this is a new look google contact um let's go to the old version the old version is actually the type that is on the pc it looks exactly the way it looks on your pc so um you can export your contacts from here too uh, some of us might be custom to this size uh, this type so click on more if you're on your pc from the contact menu and then go to export go to export and um you hit uh, that you can choose google cvs format uh, you can do it two times one for google one for maybe outlook or or your iphone and other stuff like that and then you export so that'll be it today for the trip and trick i wanted to hit the like button and just help us and then subscribe to getting uh, important tips and tricks in android and other smartphone world and other tools and gadgets from time to time so thank you very much i'll see you in the next video